I felt like it was the only thing that I had control of, so I was really terrified to give it up. I decided right then and there that I was gonna change my life and I was not gonna live like this anymore because I was miserable. And I think that was the number one thing that saved my life. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name's Erin Morrissey, and today I'm doing a video all about body image. Um, this is a video that is a long time coming. Well, maybe not because my YouTube channel isn't that old, but just something that I get a lot of questions on, whether it be on Instagram or just through friends or people that I've shared my story with. I get a lot of questions about how I handle my body image and what tactics I use and how I'm feeling currently. Um, so I thought I would do a whole rundown of a little bit of history with me and then where I'm at today, what things I use to like help just feel good about myself and feel confident and just proud and not constantly like worrying about what I'm eating or how much I'm exercising or just in general. So I do share this pretty publicly on my Instagram, on my blog. I have a lot of different like either posts or um, like Instagram posts and also blog posts as well of different, either it could be like a period of time when I was in treatment for an eating disorder um, or just like how I recovered, different tips I used and just my story in general. So I kind of will do the whole story over again just for you all. Um, I'll do a, like a brief version and if you wanna go read the entire story, I can link it below as well. But just, uh, I'll break it down into like segments too. And then please feel free to leave a comment, reach out to me, send me a DM. I love to do this with my hands, but like, just let me know because you guys, I probably guess if you're watching this video that you have suffered from some kind of body image issue, whether it happened a couple of times and you realized, wow, I don't like what I see. I need to do something about that. Or wow, I just don't feel great today or you've had a lifelong journey like I have. So you're not alone. Um, it can happen to anyone. I've learned it doesn't discriminate. And yeah, so let's jump right in. I figured that I would just kind of start off with, with like my whole journey and yeah, I will do it in like a shortened version like I said. So when I was in high school, I was just your average gal. I came home, I mean even growing up, I we ate typical American diet. Um, was not concerned about what I ate at all. Um, my parents ate pretty healthy, but also we had TV dinners. That was like a special dinner. We, my mom, we had like treats. Like I never thought about food in any way when I was growing up. I just ate what was at my table. Um, my mom made dinner probably like four or five nights a week. We'd have pizza on Fridays. And I just never thought about it. I would have ice cream for dessert. It just was not a big deal. Like I, there was no emphasis on food in my house. Um, then like, in high school the same way, I started to have a little bit more freedom. I like just would like go out with friends, we would walk to the restaurants and like do all different things that we just like mostly revolved around food because a lot of social settings are revolving around food. Um, but I never thought about it then either. I kind of like slowed down my sports in high school because I always like played sports growing up and that kind of just like made me gain a little bit of weight. Um, but then I went off to college and I it was the first time when I like didn't have my mom cooking my meals for me, my dinners. And I also, this is a fun fact about me, but in high school, I packed my lunches every single day, almost every single day. Um, my, my parents just like, that's just what we did growing up. Like my dad always packed our lunches. In high school, I had to pack my own, but like either I would just pack it like probably three days a week, two, four days a week and then buy maybe one day a week. Um, but I always had like a packed lunch. Um, and then I was in college and I like ate out for every single meal. And I just didn't, I also, once again, like, I literally didn't think anything of it. Like, uh, food was not a huge deal to me, ever, ever, ever. Like, I liked food, and I liked cooking, and I liked baking, but I was not, my thoughts were not constantly food. And that all changed. When, I guess it was middle of, end of sophomore year, I was at Penn State, and things just had gone awry while I was at school. I get a hard time I felt like I had a hard time finding a good group of friends. I didn't get into the sorority that I wanted to. Um, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with my life and I felt lost. And I realized that by exercising and controlling my food, I had a grip on something that I could control, manipulate, and it gave me a weird comfort. And it just made me feel 
like, wow, my life is in order, even though it wasn't. I started exercising a lot. Um, I started micromanaging my food extremely. Um, I was eating a severely low number of calories a day and I never cut out food necessarily. I still ate my breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but I was really, really strict with what I ate. I never went out to eat with my roommates. I had to exercise every day to an extreme that that was never like a multiple hour kind of thing or it was never two a days, but it was at least like an hour every day of intense workout. Um, and it was crazy because the it was so anxiety producing and the only thing that controlled my anxiety was working out and micromanaging my food. So it was a vicious cycle of, oh my God, oh my God, you have to work out. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, work out. Oh, okay, relax, 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 relax. Okay, you have to eat healthy, you have to eat healthy. Oh my God, you have to eat healthy, healthy. Okay, eat healthy, relax, relax. So that was the only way that I could like cope. It was like my mechanism for coping and it was horrible. Um, I eventually had to leave Penn State midway through my junior year. My parents pulled me out of school. I do have a whole video on this um, just on my IGTV. So I can leave a link for that below, but I explained the entire story to a T. So I just want to give this briefly so that I can talk about body image now and today and where I'm at today. Um, but I left Penn State. I went to the hospital for two weeks. I then went to outpatient treatment and then I went to inpatient treatment. So a little bit reverse right there, but I thought I could do everything um, out, outpatient treatment, but then I had to go live at an inpatient facility in Philadelphia. Um, and then I lived there for like almost a month and I got out and I did outpatient treatment for the next six months. And I decided right then and there that I was going to change my life and I was not going to live like this anymore because I was miserable and it was, awful and I felt I felt horrible I felt like it was the only thing that I had control of so I was really terrified to give it up but I also knew that I want to have a family I want to have kids I want to have a life where I'm not constantly worried about food I want to be able to go out to restaurants and order what I want not have to plan ahead hours looking at the menu so I decided that I was going to take active steps and first things first is that I truly believe that my biggest step in recovery was that I ha did exposure therapy. And I think that was the number one thing that saved my life is that I did all of those hard things that you don't want to do. I asked people to hold me accountable, take me to restaurants, either order for me or let, or tell me that I need to pick some, something else, up, something out that I really wanted to, that I really wanted to eat. Uh, I made myself go get ice cream. I made myself do all these things that I didn't want to do because I knew my eating disorder was like, no, you can't do that, you're fat, you're fat, you can't do that. This is bad, you don't want that. But I did those things, and each time I did those things, it got a little bit easier, and it got a little bit less painful. And I didn't blow up, I didn't become this massively, whatever, <laughs> I don't wanna say fat person, but I didn't become like huge just by doing that. Like, it was just these steps that I took that I needed to do and so then as I started recovering and I started gaining weight back and my doctors were happy with me and my heart rate started increasing and things were getting better for me physically, the mental part was a huge struggle for me. Um, it was really hard for me to see my body changing, to feel my body changing, to not fit into clothes anymore. I didn't want to go shopping. I didn't want to do all the things that girls like to do. Like, you know, I mean, obviously shopping's a huge one, but I just didn't even want to like put on tight clothes, I didn't want to do any of that. Um, and that was really hard. So for me, it took a little while. Um, I also took an entire year off of exercise. So I stopped exercising. It seemed impossible at the time, but I did it. And then it was second nature. I just woke up and I knew I wasn't exercising and I didn't even question it anymore. But that leads me to today. And I am at my heaviest weight since high school it's definitely not shocking but it's like reality i guess that i'm just like okay well i'm curvier now um and it's kind of hard it's a hard pillow to swallow pill to swallow because i when i was in high school i was not fit i didn't work out i didn't do anything for myself and right now i do all of those things like i work out i'm this so I have to understand that like, okay, yeah, muscle is different than fat and I'm in better shape and I have better endurance 
and I feel amazing. Like I don't feel sluggish. I don't, I eat like, uh, I'll, we'll talk about the eating later, but like I eat fairly healthy. Um, but then it's just like, it's lately I realized like even with the holidays, like I've just been eating a lot and just been like kind of like not mindfully eating. And so I would say I'm filming this video. It's like after the holidays, but I'm just feeling like a little bit like, wow, okay, this is what it's like to actually be free. And it honestly doesn't mean that it's like, oh, it's a breeze. Like, I love my body. I love how I'm feeling. Like, I have days, and I've had more days recently where I wake up and I'm like, oh my God, like, I look so different. And I don't like the way I look. And I wish I could change that. But instead of acting on that and being like, all right, now I'm just going to go starve myself for the next X amount of days, I instead put tactics in where I'm like, no, okay, now I'm just going to maybe eat healthy to eat healthier today and just maybe add in more more salads and add in more like dinners that don't make me feel as heavy and maybe I can like maybe instead of going out to dinner I mean we went out to dinner literally like 15 times well, over the holiday which I know it's the holiday so it's a special time and I'm okay with that but maybe instead of making plans with all of our girlfriends to go out maybe we have a dinner in and I offer to cook or something like that granted none of that has really happened but I'm just starting to realize, okay, what are the tactics that I need to do to make sure that I don't spiral out of control? Um, and so for me, that's just like balancing out my meals as a whole rounded, like, okay, I got my veggies, my carbs, my proteins, and just knowing that makes me feel better. Um, also, like I do work out. I work out probably like five to six days a week and I now am working out and I'm doing things like yoga, I'm doing things like lifting, I'm doing things like um, Barry's boot camp. I'm doing flywheel. So I have a whole blend of like cardio and strength and stretching and it has made my mindset totally shift because I like can see my muscles getting stronger. I can see my definition in the tone. And so that's the one part of the body image that I'm like, okay, I definitely feel better. Um, but it's definitely been hard recently. And I think that is because of the holidays and it is because I have gained weight. Um, that like, I look at myself in the mirror. And I'm not always like, wow, this this is exactly what I want to look like. So that's been a challenge for me. I mean, I'm definitely someone that needs needs to just like not, I don't weigh myself and I don't really like spend hours of myself like looking in the mirror. Like I'm not like a huge, like obviously I don't like, I'm not like a huge diva. I don't love, like I'm not like obsessed with doing my hair, obsessed with my makeup. As I say that with my lip gloss on. Um, but like I'm just not, that's just not me. Like I'm not... A huge looks person like I'm not focused I don't think people are awesome because of their looks I think people are awesome because of the way they can handle themselves carry themselves chat with other people um, so I have to remember that because I always say to everyone else I'm like who cares what you look like if you're going out like do you have to do this do you have to like oh my gosh we spend an hour doing your makeup for me it's like you guys no one cares it's like you're your own worst critic and I have to remind myself that because like I am my own worst critic if I see myself in the mirror and I think I look chubby I think I look out of shape I think I look something, then I have to remember no one else really is looking, no one else really cares, and that's like my number one tactic, honestly, it's like I'm just like, I need to be strong for myself and remember why I want this. So another thing is that I, over the last, I'm on, this might be TMI for some of you, but I'm on month four of getting my period back, and that's huge for me, because for the longest time I was too underweight, I wasn't eating enough. And right when I started gaining weight, I got my period back. And it's pretty amazing because that's one thing, like I definitely wanna have kids within the next several years. Um, and so that feels really good. And so every time I look at myself and I'm like, wow, I don't feel good, I'm like, okay, no. But this is the body that you need to have to one day carry a baby. This is everything that is protecting your organs. Um, and this is going to one day, like, I mean, cross my fingers, but like allow me to have a child. So I have to try to remember that. Um, obviously some things are out of our control, but that's just one thing that I think about all the time. Another thing is that, as I was saying, kind of like with people don't really care about what you look like. Um, I think a lot of girls like dress for boys or dress for men. I mean, really they're dressing for other women, but like I think they care about what men think they look like. Um, so they have to stay skinny. And I don't think that's true because I'm speaking on for Tom, but he literally could care less about what my body looks like. I mean, of course he like, he thinks I'm beautiful and he tells me that, um, and I know he means it, but he would just wants me to be happy. 
and I'm pretty sure that if you find someone that you love and loves you that they just want you to be happy and that's been a huge reminder for me as well just being like he really doesn't care and honestly like I, I get something really I could lose a limb or something and he would still love me like so I have to remember that I have to be grateful for that um, and I honestly think that's true for a lot of men now that I am at my heaviest weight since I've been in a long time in a couple years I I'm, I think I'm filming this video because it's like partially therapeutic for me because I'm not like I'm not mad at myself like I didn't I didn't do anything wrong like I just lived my life again like I said yes more said no less did things that made me happy stopped being so tight and crazy and a nut around food and i just let myself live but in terms of that like yeah i i might not be as thin as i once was but i have such a better life like right now like i have such a better life like i am so happy i have physical energy i used to not be able to get out of bed and now i can literally do things all day and not be tired um i feel amazing and so i rem i remember that and so when on days when i'm struggling and i'm feeling like really gross about myself which by the way is super normal and happens to everyone um i just remember like okay no like this is my body that lets me do everything and i don't want to be that girl that that can't go out to restaurants and that girl that has to stare at the menu for hours before I just want to live life spontaneously and that's what I'm that's what I'm doing so so now like my next steps are basically like I will continue this is my life motto and this is what I'm gonna say so I will continue to do things with friends say yes more try new foods be adventurous get specialty drinks that I wouldn't normally get just live my freaking life eat when I'm hungry and buy clothes that fit me and stop holding on to my old clothes and just stop with the whole like I need to be skinny I need to be a tiny girl to be loved and to be cared about and just I want to look a little um and so that is just how I'm doing things and yeah so it's not perfect and it's not I'm not perfect and I have everyone on my side supporting me and they've seen what I've been through and I know that body image is such a touchy subject and I just want you to know that you're not alone this is happening to you and you're not feeling great about yourself um we all have these moments it's just about how we handle them and how we act on them and I encourage you to like literally go freaking get it and just like be proud of yourself and like look at yourself in the mirror and just be like damn like this is my body I have one body and I literally am going to treat it right because there's no other way so I hope this helps I just want everyone to be able to live because I see so many young girls not even young girls I mean I see so many women and I see men too who are struggling with this and there's so much life to be lived outside of your body image and what you look like and someone remind me that when I'm not when I'm having a day too where I'm like oh I don't feel good because we all have those days um but now it's like awesome like now i get to go hang out with my girlfriends tonight we're having like a charcuterie board a wine party and like i'm excited for it like there's i used to be like oh my god i don't want to go to those things i don't want to do those things because i was just like i didn't want to be around food i didn't want to be around alcohol and now my life is just so much better because i just feel confident in myself so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog um if you have any questions or you have any body image issue questions and you want to ask them to me i'm always around you can follow me at erin lives whole um or you can honestly leave a comment here i'll answer it here for sure um but i i just want to encourage you all to just keep rocking it and remember that life is way more than what you look like